Welcome. In this video, we'll get you up to speed on the new features in FL Studio Mobile 4.4. First, WaveShaper. If you're an FL Studio desktop user, you will already have a rough idea of what this is. For those unaware, wave shaping is distortion, introduced by changing the output level in response to the input level instantly. In other words, reshaping the waveform. However, this wave shaper is a bit different than normal, and in a good way. Let's explore. Unlike most wave shapers, this one is designed with real-time morphing in mind. It has seven preset wave shape morphs to choose from. You can smoothly morph the wave shapes using the XY pad here, or use the X and Y sliders to the right. Stereo Spread moves the shape slightly differently in the left versus the right channel, which will widen the stereo image drastically. The Amp tab is where you can control levels. Drive boosts the input level into the shaping. Useful for driving the peaks into the top and bottom area of the wave shaper shape if the level is not reaching these areas. Auto Gain constantly adjusts level to match input, regardless of the drive setting. Keep an eye on this, as it can create unwanted level changes or pumping, with input signals with a wide dynamic range. Post Gain sets the output level, and Mix allows letting some of the dry signal through the distortion. You also get some built-in EQ controls in the aptly titled EQ tab, pre-distortion high-pass or low-cut, and low-pass or high-cut filters, and post-distortion high-shelf, low-shelf, and peaking filters here. Use these controls to shape the spectral result of the distortion. And finally, the LFO tab houses an internal low-frequency oscillator with three wave shapes that can modulate X and or Y parameters in the wave shaping curve. Set the speed here. This can be synchronized to project tempo with this control. In terms of workflow improvements, you can now copy or move a time selection to the playhead in the playlist. To use the feature, make a time selection by tapping and dragging on the time ruler up here. Tap the plus icon and select Copy to Playhead. We've also included support for AAC encoded audio or M4A files on iOS devices, enabling you to import your voice memos directly from your device without having to convert them to a more widely used format. And lastly, there are two new free content packs to check out. Synthwave Selection, which contains 35 instruments based on Saif Samir's popular Synthwave Flex Pack for FL Studio Desktop, and WA Production Selection. Which is a hand curated collection of one shot samples provided by our friends over at WA Production. And that's all the new stuff. We hope you love FL Studio Mobile 4.4 just as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Happy music making.